talking. Today I have got another video in the English speaking series. I have done many more of them and if you haven't watched them, go check them out. I will link them in the description below. Let's begin! Today I will be discussing about how to introduce yourself effectively within a minute. Yes, within a minute. This is a very important topic. Imagine the number of situations where you might have to introduce yourself. It might be at school or college or at an interview. The list can go on and on. So do not forget to watch the video till the end because at the last section of today's video I will be demonstrating this concept by giving my own self-introduction. So let's begin. Firstly, your self-introduction cannot be pulled out of thin air. Do you know the meaning of the idiom pulled out of thin air? If you don't, it will be displayed over here. I would rather suggest that you have your self-introduction written and prepared beforehand. This brings me to the second point. Your self-introduction should relate to the audience and tell them who you are. So to summarise, your self-introduction should be written beforehand and relate to your target audience. Self-introduction should ideally be short, no more than three or four lines. So assuming that you have written down your self-introduction, we move on to the parts. So quickly, let me tell you the seven parts of the self-introduction. A greeting, your name, your age, your occupation, your experience, your hobby and an ending remark. Number one, greetings. This depends on the situation you are in. It can be either formal or informal. Hello is a formal and informal greeting. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening can be used depending on the time. Greetings itself is a greeting. When facing larger audience, you can say, greetings everybody. Moving on to informal greetings, there are many like hi, hiya, what's up, etc. I suggest you stick to I, it's the easiest. But please everyone, Avoid using the word guys in formal situations. Number two, introducing your name. You can start with I am or I'm. My name is works as well. In case of larger audience, you may want to start with this is. Number three, your age. It is good to give your exact age. For example, I am 25 or I am 25 years of age or simply. I'm 25 years old. If you don't want to give your exact age, you can say I'm in my mid, early or late, 20s, 30s, teens, whatever. This way you avoid giving your exact age. Number four, describing your geographical location. This can be done in many ways. Let us start from the basics. It's very easy, you can just say, I am from, I am from, India, for example. If you come from a very far off place, you can say, I come from. For example, I come from India. Now, if you, can, if you want to describe your race as well, you can do that. I am an Indian, or I am a British, for example. You can also explain your geographical journey. For example, I am an Indian, but now I live in London. Or I was born in India but now I live in London or I have been living in London for the past three years. Now comes your experience. You can say that I have dash years of experience at dash. For example, I have two years of experience at blogging. You can also explain the amount of time you have worked for an occupation. For example, I have worked at the bank as an accountant for the past six months. Number five, your position or your company. The general logic is to explain that I am position at company. You can also say that I work as a profession at company. Now comes the hobbies. 
You should explain your hobbies at the end of the self-introduction speech as it lightens up the whole speech and also gives a great starting point for a conversation. Let me give you two examples. Number one, I love running or I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift, for example. Next, you can explain your qualifications as well. For example, I am a subject graduate or I am, a I am taking a course in or on something. You can say I am taking a course in math and I am taking a course on painting and not the vice versa. Now coming to the last point, the ending remarks. This can be a simple thank you or you can also add a few lines. For example, I look forward to whatever. You can say, I look forward to the classes. It works fine. So summarising it all, now I will be giving my own introduction so you all can understand how this all works. Good morning. I am Mehr. I am 11 years old. I live in India and I am doing my formal studies. I am a big fan of learning the piano. Also shorten this introduction down to two flowing lines. For example, good morning. I am Meher, an 11 year old from India. Currently, I am doing my formal studies and I am a big fan of learning the piano. Thank you. If you understood this concept, then do go ahead and introduce yourself in the comment box below. I will be looking forward to it. So this brings us to the end of today's video. Goodbye guys and I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment. Goodbye.